When you're a little kid, you're a little bit of everything. An artist, a scientist, an athlete, a scholar. Sometimes it feels like growing up's just the process of leaving those things behind. One thing we didn't give up on was our love for food. We're the taste cadets, and we travel the world tasting the shit out of everything. Well, mainly food. Hi there, I'm Sipa, a TV actor, and a little while ago I took some time out with old mates to camp out in the wilderness and cook some banging munch over a campfire. It's a bit weird talking about yourself, innit? That's Kieran. He's like a brother to me, which basically means we slightly hate each other, but I couldn't live without him or his massive blockhead. That's Marcus, our other best mate. Some may call him the third wheel, which is fine, because you know what? I love a tricycle. It's a proper forest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like tall trees. That's mental. If you roll down here, you're going to be in a lake. So you get is it? There's an actual swamp as well, yeah. though. This is Kent. So we just found ourselves a little hut that we will not be camping in because mm. this isn't wilderness enough, is it? It's not, I mean, it is good shelter, yeah, but it is, it is also for a murderer. Yeah, you always need a good stick in the world. I hate to walk in. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> Pathetic. This, my friends, is pro chef Lee Tiernan of St. John and Black Axe Mangal fame. Known for his terrifyingly twisted takes on modern cuisine, our shared passion of food, swaggy garms, and well, some music has meant a friendship has blossomed between us. And now he's going to teach us about cooking in the wild and nature and shit. I was trying to prank you, but it backfired massively. <laughs> yeah, I fucked it up and ended up jumping out on the producer. But how long were you jamming there? About oh. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first test, finding shelter for the night, which just meant putting up the tents that we brought with us. Uh, it's actually the Euro Hike yeah, Buckingham yeah, Elite yeah, Six. It looks quite impressive, no, off, but um, okay. it looks like it's fucking hectic to put together. But these boys love doing shit like that, man. Look at them, they're in their element. Snake, absolute King Cobra. I mean, if you feel like helping, just go. No, I will in a minute, but it's more um, like I'm doing. Can you tell us where we are? Get the pole out then. Bro, I'm going to help. Like, what do you mean? Wait, I reckon you need to um, start pegging it down at some point. Yes. Yeah. Right, close your eyes. One, two. Oh, my dad sounds scary. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Yeah, it's my turn next. And, uh, I think Seeper has never put a tent up in his life. He's just watched. Was that? <laughs> so you promise you won't well, well. you if you're wet in the morning? You promise you won't lie about knowing how to do it next time? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a ten. Again. Yep. About to go sleep. Fucking knackered out my mind, isn't it? I'm still, I'm still. <laughs> you know how much I hate your fingers on my face? <laughs> Why does mine? <laughs> Night, no, bro. No, no. Night, boys. Night, boys. Night. No. Like that slightly jarring song that was always on the radio once said, wake up, it's a beautiful morning. And it was our first beautiful morning in the wilderness. We'd agreed to have no phones and we didn't have a clue what we were doing, but we were still ready for whatever lay ahead. Sort of. <coughs> I had to wake up next to Marcus in a balaclava. <laughs> it takes you a second to realise actually your mate. I woke up after about an hour I needed a piss. Yeah, I and then I, then I lay there with my heart pounding for a while. Anxiety, my old friend. <laughs> um, I think they're from like a large Sainsbury's or any other supermarket next to a festival. And obviously I wanted to be the most stylish guy there. And fuck me, you look cool. <laughs> we hate each other more than anyone in the world could hate each other, but I think that's what pure friendship is, to be honest. We rip each other apart, but we couldn't do without each other. Could do with a bit more wood. Yeah. Cool. Do you want ones that are just no, go straight through. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Starving out my mind. Does everyone eat eggs? Yeah. yeah. And bacon. <laughs> yeah. Food allows us to do everything. Like we've really like crafted our entire lives around food. 
Food allows me to travel with my friends. That's, that's the main thing, traveling with my friends, um, exploring new cultures, tastes, and countries, basically. You go to some sick little shack by someone that's been there for like 40 years, and that like, they've got their own sort of story, and you can kind of taste it within the food, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's like what kind of matters to us, really. I love that. I like to feel like we've actually slaughtered this pig ourselves. Yeah, man. So if you learn how to like skin a pig, do you reckon you know how to skin a human? So I bought some bacon from the restaurant, smoked and cured by ourselves. I'm gonna scramble some eggs, fry some mushrooms, and top it all off with some grated white truffle. Hopefully this weekend the boys will learn that we can make amazing food using a lo-fi setup. Bit of a different shape, but uh, I've gone for the more Middle Eastern shape. Lick them. I am hating every minute of not having my phone with me. It's like part of me's gone. It is strange when you tap for your pocket, all those moments where you sit there on your own for a sec and you go and reach for your pocket, or if you want to photo something or film something or Google something when you know your friend's chatting shit about a fact they've just said. Locally sourced salt? Locally sourced. Nice. I've, I've actually reduced the seawater. <laughs> yes. uh... Mark, can you bring me Kieran's, please? Right, this is so, proper, man. man. Banging, bro. I bought a couple of bits, some condiments and that, but I didn't bring anything for dinner. Yeah. So we're going to go to a farm and we're going to barter for some meat and some veg. We've got to give him something in return, basically. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, so no okay. shops, no... No shops. Take ourselves out of our comfort zone. After a sublimely tantalising breakfast, it slowly dawned on us. We'd be starving again in three hours, max. So we decided to go to a local farm to see what we could get. I'm not begging for companies. Uh, I'm fine, I need you in life. I'm gonna change. Andy. How you doing, man? Lee, how'd you do? Oh, Lee. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch. Well, guess what? They're wrong. All you've got to do is a bit of farming in exchange for some local produce. Light work. Yeah, you just sort of chuck them up in there, okay? Yeah. And then <laughs> you'll stack easy. them and make them off. Giving you a little template here. Okay. Away you go. Lovely. All right? Okay, nice guys. Andy, lovely to meet you. Yeah. Boys, I've got you here. Enjoy the work. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Thanks a lot, mate. All right. Take care. See you later. later. Good luck, boys. See you later. Nice one, Andy. Yeah, a bit of hard work. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ready yet? Yeah. <sighs> That's how you do farming. <laughs> Bow. What's that? Hey, you bastard. I wonder what that's for. <laughs> Bruv, what are you doing? I've got to redo all this. Yeah, don't just dash them off, you prick. How else well. am I going to redo it? I'm just saying, because it's going to be everywhere, isn't it? That's all. All right, well, I'll pass them down to you then. That's their livelihood, Marcus. Jesus, cold, no, yeah. He's literally having a joke with you, and you're for you. I'm fuming at you two, not Andy. <laughs> ah, look at you. He's a pathetic little man. Ah, uh -huh, starting. <laughs> Hay fever. This is a hazard. Bruv, hurry up. Life of a farmer, riding about on hay. Sweating out, sitting yeah. on a haystack. We're basically livestock. Yeah. Are those cows that they're like... Yeah, so they're Sussex of... cattle, okay. and they're indigenous to this area. Oh, cool, and cool. Um, right. they've just been fattening all through the summer on the, on the garden. Amazing. So, That's quite yeah. brutal, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can't get better flavoured beef than this time of year, yeah. basically. Nice. Oh, that's great. Because it is, it is just the absolute best of the best. Yeah. Andy said his daughter needed some help, so we obliged. Man like Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to need you to clear out the concrete pad. All right. Yeah. All right, you're going to push the barrow for us. No, I'm not. No? no. All right then. Is that is that for real? Yeah. We're shoveling shit. Or we might be milking a cow or something. Cool. Okay. 
Oh, we've got to clean this whole thing? Alright. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't, don't rush it. It's just flicking up poo particles. Yeah. I'll just open up a fresh one. <laughs> this one is pungent. It's got to be good as new, boys. I bet Daisy doesn't actually do any of this. Probably goes to like Leeds Uni. <laughs> 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 we're, uh, we're going to be bringing the cows through now, so. Huh? Well, what does that mean for us then? Can you, uh, can you leave? Okay. Yeah. Sweet. You're welcome. Oh. All right. No, you can get out as quick as you can, yeah? No, <laughs> get out. Right. <laughs> Daisy's, yeah, she's a bit weird. Probably flirting. Yeah. Free strapping, lads. And Lee? <laughs> Thought so. Horses. We headed back to our new pop-up yard, produce in hand, ready to cook it up. Gee, that's disgusting. Mm, that's it, boy. Stinky. It doesn't taste like kidney or liver. OK. It, it tastes like lean <laughs> steak. You want to cut it into manageable pieces, but all of this, do you want to get rid of all of that? I'm really excited. Kieran's not. Yeah? It's because you're oh, thinking it's going to taste a certain way. The guys are not keen to eat heart because they think it's going to taste disgusting. And I'd be surprised if they don't like it because it tastes like steak. Mm. This is what I'm proposing to put on the ox heart. Mm. Like a chimichurri, but it's a bit sweeter. It's a ginger and chilli relish. Oh, Banging. Ever since, it's like, if you're going to kill an animal, it's only polite to eat the whole thing. And I think that... I think that's really important. I think that's very important. Uh, people, go to the, people go to the supermarket, and they get their pork chops and they're in styrofoam packets and cling filmed and they don't, they don't want to know where it came from. They don't want to know about all that. And also people think that offal tastes like shit. Have you ever cooked an actual brain? Yeah, you can poach them. You a can whole brain? I had a um, brain, I don't know how it was cooked, but then like, there was loads of jelly around it, but it was really thin slices of it, like in a Is sandwich. Cold? Yeah, cold, it's disgusting. Yeah. Sitting there and chopping an onion, yeah, is like one of the only times that you're just purely focusing on the task at hand, do you know what I mean? Instead of having those like, thousand thoughts flying through your head. Like, it's a form of meditation, in a way. Right, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna rub your back a little bit and yeah. talk you through it a bit more. Don't give up. Right. As the flavours came together, so did we. It finally felt like we had a purpose, a reason for being there, which, to be fair, is because we organised it with a camera crew, but you know what I mean. Just stop being so cynical. Got some uh, onions, cauliflowers, leeks, just getting charred on there. Nice some potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, some potatoes. Now, the potatoes are in the coals, in the foil, yeah, and, and some uh, corn in the husks as well. Boom. Voila. Splash. It's weird. When there's a whole beef heart just there dripping in blood, I don't want to eat it. But that is. Wait, what do we put on the leeks? Leeks royale. Sesame, Sesame oil. oil and salt. Sesame oil. Leeks royale, yeah? yeah. We've got. Um, Classically baked potatoes, charred on the outside, yeah? We've got corn on the cob with mission spice and butter. I mean, that's oh, really look at sick. That. Oh, it's juicy. Banging, bro. Is that all right? How's that, beef? Amazing, that mission spice is like... Shout out Danny Bowen. And he's a G. Like, this is, yeah. You know, even when you were doing the fire, I was like, oh, I want to film this. Yeah. I'll take a picture. And when the plate came through, I'm like, mm. oh, sick, we're going to. And then I found myself screaming at the camera and going, are you getting this? It's weird, isn't it? Like, you yeah. want to document everything. You have to watch it back to make it real. This and has been the right. most wholesome experience I've had in a while. Yeah, it's true. Because I've got nothing else going on. I haven't yeah. touched my phone. It's nice. And I've lost that anxiety. Sometime. I don't actually want to get my phone back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? I was speaking to my Kurdish cousin who was telling me that they all go into the mountains, they just sit out and they make the most amazing barbecues. And uh, yeah, man, it'll be sick to go back to Kurdistan and camp with these boys, definitely. I mean, in my opinion, we've come together, we've cooked this food. And I think it's been really therapeutic. Yeah. Hey, Lee. She know she passion me, talking me, feel it coming. Cause she know she passion my friend, and she call me honey. Cause she know the cash, she a feel it, go get me money. But kick it, she call me, she call me, let call me papa.
<laughs> and there you go. We came, we saw, we cooked some banging food on a fire, and we learned how to survive without our phones. We learned to respect and love each other again, and most of all, we learned that two days camping is always enough. Love and guidance strength and decorum to all, TC to the world. Be in the moment more. Take it back to basics. Strip naked. Got market. Oh my god, it's oh.